Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll show you how you can create a free slider using Free Elementor, where you can slide images, text, videos, and everything you see in Elementor. You can slide them using this free plugin, and you can also add free animations to the text, to the buttons, and to the images, just like the premium plugins that we use normally, like Slider Revolution. So this is a free alternative to those plugins. And the second reason for recommending this plugin is there are free sliders available that we can import to our Elementor and then we can customize them using Elementor so we don't have to learn any third party plugin. Now let's see how we can get this plugin and how we can install it and how we can use it. Before that let me show you some quick demos of the sliders to give you an idea. So here you can see there are a number of templates available, animal slider, book slider, car and motors, fashion sliders, food sliders, flowers, furniture, electronic, jewelry and so on. Let me show you a few of them to give you an idea and if you want to explore any of these you can follow the link in the description to this plugin. Now let's open up this one and let's say this one and let's also open up food slider. So this is the first animal slider you can see arrows text and if I move to the second one you can see the animations and also the background change. So this is one of the slider. This is another one. You can see the arrows in this position and different animations this is a food slider you can see different animation different fonts and so on this is a furniture slider you can see the animations this is electronic with different animations this is another one for kitchen or tools and this is another one by the way you can display arrows, you can display drop downs here and you can also display dots which we will see later on. Now let's see how we can download this plugin and how we can use it. So to download it you can just go to this link in the description and you can click on this download button to download this plugin. This is by the way HG slider for Elementor. Just click on download and you will get a zip file like this. Now you just need to upload this to your Wordface. So to upload it let's go to our Wordface. We will be using this website, we don't have anything here and we will just need to its dashboard and to upload the plugin just go to plugins, add new and then click upload plugin and here choose file and select that plugin, HD slider for Elementor and install now and let's activate the plugin and you can see this plugin also need Elementor so we will need to install Elementor we'll activate it and that's it. Now we have Elementor and that plugin installed which is HD Slider. Now you can hover over here and then go to Templates Library. And here you can see HD Slider Template Library 80 templates are free, okay? And these are categorized by animal, book, car, cosmetics and so on. So you can pick the one that you need. And for this example, let's use this one, Fashion. If I open this, there are a number of templates available. Let's say I need this one so I can preview this also by clicking here. And this is the slider. This is very simple and have no animation, so let's leave this. We will import another one, okay? Let's go back to library and let's open this one and preview this one. And this one looks good. We have animation, different fonts, and let's use this one, okay? I'll close it and we'll just click on import to import this slider. And then we will give it a name, so I'll call this slider1 and we'll click import slider. And successfully Animal Slider 4 has been imported. Now to edit its content you can just click on edit template. And this will open up Elementor right away where we can customize this slider ok. So if you are following my channel and you know about Elementor you can see this is just a section. That we can customize by giving it a style. We can change its background image and we can give it some overlay. And we can also customize this text ok. We can click on it and we can change it. We can also change this title ok. I'll call this and in the same way you can customize the text here you can customize this button and you can also change its text like and you can also change its link you can go to style to give it some colors let's give this background hover color ok so I'll go to hover and we'll change the color from white to something like this and now you can see a different color and as I said you can customize it the way you want. If you don't like the one column structure you can just add a new column and you can add another image here, drag an image here then click on it, go to media library or you can upload any images ok. Let's use another image and let's use this one ok, I'll just save it. This is just to show you ok, I'll go here and we'll drag that image here and click select 
and that's it so this is how you can customize the slider you can add images you can add videos you can add more text and so on to add a video you can just go here drag a video here just like this and you can add all of these elements heading text to videos image boxes icon boxes and so on so as i said you can slide everything here from this slider plugin okay let's keep the image and let's remove the video and we can also remove the background or we can change it but let's leave this for now and we will give this column some padding like 50 and we'll align this to the right side and this also have some padding so let's remove it and we'll also align this to the right side let's update this and now if i go to all sliders here we have this slider one okay now we can create as many as we want or we can just duplicate this slider by using another plugin okay and now let's add a new one so let's go to template library and this time we will use another template like book i'll use this one so let's just click on import i'll call this slider 2 import and we can edit this template so this is the slider let's say this is fine i don't want to waste your time and let's go back to the dashboard and i'll show you how you can display this on a specific page okay so before that we will need to create a slider category for that you can go to sliders and here you can go to categories and you can add a new one okay for example i want to display this on home page so i'll call this home slider you can give it any name and then we'll click on add new item and that's it now we will go back to sliders and i can quick edit any of these and i can make it home slider by assigning this specific category we'll click update same goes for this one we are just giving this slider a category okay now you can see these are under home slider category now to display this on a specific page you can go to pages add a new page or you can edit any of your page okay i'll call this home we'll edit this with elementor make this full width now to add the slider you can search for a slider here you will see each slider just drag it here and now you can select the category you want so as we created home slider we will select it and this will display the slider here okay and we can also change the slider options like we can change the arrows we can change the slide items and we can also display the slider dots as i mentioned before now we have these dots here and we can also enable auto flip for this slider we can change that to display speed the animation speed and so on okay this is for the tablet so you can display the number of items the number of items to scroll then this is for mobile view okay normally these are fine so you don't have to change these things and you can also go to style and you can further customize the style like the slider navigation style which is this one and if you want to change it you can go to style 2 which will display the arrows here okay let's go back to style 1 we can give it color background color let's make it and uh, we will make it white you can also give them border border radius and so on and these are the navigation dots we can customize its color also let's publish this page this will not display well because we'll have to give different background images okay so for that let's go back we'll go to hd sliders and i'll edit this one and just change the background image here okay so let's use let's use this image okay i'll just save it and this is because those images are copyrighted okay so let's go back i'll edit this section we'll go to style tab background and we'll change its background image and we'll select it and update and i'll search for book image and let's use this one go to style and we'll change its background image see we also have to change this color okay so let's use white and let's also change its background color and let's say this is fine i'll update it and now let's check our page okay so i'll go to pages and we'll view this home page now you can see the background image in the slider is fine okay and to make it full width you can again edit this page with elementor and edit this section and instead of this box choose full width and that's it the arrows are not showing well so let's edit this slider and let's go to content slider option and let's use this one for example and why is not showing as we just need to click on insert okay now you will see these arrows also and that's it let's update it preview the page and this is our slider now with the arrows dots background images text and this image 
okay so this is how you can create a slider you can import a template and you can customize it using elementor absolutely for free and you can further customize the look inside your page by going to style and you can change the style of the slider okay again the plugin link is in the description and to learn more about wordface elementor and ocommerce you can follow my previous videos and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next